Welcome back to the Duckworth Center and Sports Select Sports Talks coverage of Team Manitoba's wheelchair rugby squad. Joining us now is the coach of the team, Chris McCluskey. Wow, I, I heard that <laughs> noise back. That's the sound of wheelchair rugby, isn't that it? That is. Uh, very typical of these guys. They're warrior athletes and they run around their death chairs battling it out. It's kind of cool. So, so we got to obviously start at the starting point. And how did you get involved in this? Uh, it actually started through wheelchair basketball and it was a promise I'd made to a family about three years ago that I would come and check out basketball. Uh, it took me three years to find a night. Uh, talked to Angela, came out, checked out basketball. While we were breaking down for basketball, uh, Aaron, who we've already talked to, rolled by and said uh, they need an extra body would I mind sitting in, sat in and the rest is history. That's been uh, just a uh, door open and I took opportunity. Talk a little bit about what you've learned about this sport. Uh, the sport in itself, uh, it's very different than the stand-up rugby game that I'm used to. Um, actually, the greatest learning experience for me was just learning the different abilities and capabilities. I was incredibly ignorant on that fact. Uh, they're athletes uh, through and through. They compete just as hard, if not harder in some aspects. And it was uh, just a really big eye-opener in terms of what does it mean to, to, have, uh, to be a quad in that respect and the different variants that that incurs. And, just the different abilities again was uh, phenomenal to see that. There, there's some real intricacies to the sport too that uh, Aaron kind of touched on for me a little bit. Like obviously the learning curve must have been steep for you. It is still steep. Uh, <laughs> I'm still learning as I go. I mean, they'll tell you I'm very new at this. Aaron, Jared, John, uh, Dan, I mean, all the guys I can go down the list have been incredibly uh, generous with their time and, and patience with me as I've been learning this. Uh, couldn't ask for a better set of mentors. Uh, just amazing gentlemen and, and great teammates and just great guys. Uh, they've, like I said, a lot of patience in teaching me this stuff. Tell me a bit about your uh, sports background before you got involved with the Wheelchair <laughs> Sports Association. Okay, uh, I've been, uh, it's primary football and basketball for me for as long as I can remember. Uh, coaching stand-up basketball for 25 plus years now um, and played uh, football and basketball through college uh, many, many years ago, but just loved it as always been involved in sports. Uh, my, my kids came along and it, sports took on a whole different uh, role for me in terms of getting them engaged, becoming their coach and just really becoming more of a fan in that respect instead of an ad, athlete again. Um, you know, being a typical dad like every other parent or mom. Uh, we've, you do soccer, you coach soccer. If you're in baseball, you coach baseball. If it's track and field, you learn how to throw discus so that your kids can learn. And it's, uh, it was just a natural progression. Saw an opportunity. Um, something I've never done before and went with it. So, Talk about what you like about uh, not just wheelchair basketball, but rugby especially. Um, you've got the basketball background, so um, that sport I can see you know, you transitioning a little easier to. What do you like about the rugby? The contact. <laughs> I mean, when you see these guys flying around out there and there, uh, you get that moment there where you can see it start to unfold where one of our guys has somebody lined up and you know what's going to happen. Everybody knows it's happening and it's almost that inhale as everybody holds their breath and then the contact and stuff blows up and you see guys flying around and it, when I first saw that and first experienced it, it was hooked from the word go. So that was, it's, it's a contact through and now it's time to talk to one of the new members of the team and someone who's actually rising in the ranks of wheelchair rugby. That's John Bridgek. First of all, talk about how you got started in this sport. Uh, well, first I got started by uh, just a small introduction when I was at HSC during my uh, rehab stage uh, for my spinal cord injury. And uh, uh, Jared Funk was uh, one of the uh, players on that type of team and, and the national team and uh, got me kind of interested in uh, I just came out uh, shortly after I was out you know, of the rehab and slowly started coming and now here I am. Like I've asked everyone else, what do you love about the sport? Uh, I like the traveling aspect, uh, getting to know more people, hitting, i um, always been a fan of staying in shape and everything so um, pretty much sums it up for me. Yeah and you talk about that and it, it just looks like a lot of work out there. Just talk about the, 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 the exercise component that goes into it. Oh, it's a lot of cardio, I'll tell you that much. Uh, like interval training, I practice lots and uh, it's slowly getting there. Um, before, like some slower than some of these guys when I first started and then uh, this is my second year, end of my second year now and then 
they can ask anyone else, I push probably four times as hard as I did when I started. Now, you mentioned it's your second year. You're only 23 years old. Just talk about what do you want to do with the sport? Like, do you have aspirations for the national team, that type of thing? Um, I, well, who wouldn't want to play for Team Canada, really? So, uh, uh, it certainly is a uh, something to work to, that's for sure. Uh, but I think I need more experience yet, some little more time. I think I need still, I'm still learning quite a bit, so. And there's a lot to the game that I don't understand still. But I've, I've told I've had the potential, so why not try and go for it? But we'll see where it plays. And for now, focus on nationals, right? Yeah, yeah, focus on the now. And worry about the future. All right, spoken like a true athlete. Thanks for making time for us. Hey, no problem. Thanks for interviewing me. And stay with us. We'll be right back.